Now to an intriguing military mystery right here in WA. The last chapter in the story of two mates who disappeared almost 70 years ago may just have been uncovered off our northwest. On September 18, 1944, an RAAF bow fighter plunged into the ocean off Broome, killing the pilot and his navigator. But now two locals believe they've found the plane's final resting place. Joining me live from Darwin is Broome chopper pilot Jim Miles. Good morning, Jim. You began looking for this uh, plane about uh, two years ago. What made you start the search in the first place? Yeah, good morning, Tim. Uh, the search was initiated by uh, squadron leader Greg Williams contacting me. He's from the RAF's Missing in Action unit down there in Canberra. And that came as a result of Broome, uh, Vice President of the Historical Society, Dion Marinas, doing some investigation as to the um, occurrence of this bow fighter, which was held secret in archives for many, many years. So that, that's what the, uh, was the initiation of this search. As we know, Broome has a rich military history, including uh, coming under attack by the Japanese in 1942. So tell us what exactly have you found and why are you so sure, so convinced it is the missing plane? OK, what we found is uh, multiple pieces of debris on the seabed, which includes an engine, a tailplane, uh, two 20mm uh, Hispano cannons with 20mm uh, rounds. Um, we're sure that it is the wreck based on archive information from National Archives which detail very accurately the occurrence of the crash and how it happened and where it impacted. Um, and that coupled with identifying actual features of the aircraft, for example the window frame. Two years ago we found a small piece of window frame which we married up exactly to an, a real bow fighter that's held at the Moorabbin Museum in Melbourne. Um, that was probably our biggest breakthrough. And then over the weekend, we did a final survey, um, which identified the last remaining engine, which uh, is exactly the same as the type of engines fitted to the bow fighter. And Jim, we know the pilot, Flight Sergeant Ronald Kerrigan, was just 20 when he disappeared 70 years ago. I understand you've managed to contact his sister. That must have been quite a moment. Yeah, that that's, makes it a very special case uh, as far as wreck hunting goes. And Dion Marinas did a great job in locating uh, Val, which is the sister of Ron Kerrigan. And uh, yeah, I believe she is really happy to bring closure like this to the wreck um, and to, to her loved one, her brother. Um, we're still trying to find the family of uh, Ron Smith. He's from Strathfield in New South Wales. We've had no joy uh, and the authorities have also tried to contact the family of those people. Uh, so yeah, if any of the viewers do know of family associated with this accident, um, the authorities would love to hear from you. All right, Jim. Well, congratulations on solving a mystery. Well done. Thanks very much, Tim.